universal life insurance is essentially a term policy with cash value characterized by flexible premiums and adjustable benefits. Part of the premium goes into an investment account that grows and earns interest. You are able to borrow or withdraw your cash value. Universal Life allows its policy owners to determine the amount and frequency of premium payments and adjust the death benefits up or down to reflect changes in needs. Consequently, changes may be made with relevant fees by the policy owner and no new policies will need to be issued when changes are desired. Universal Life provides the flexibility by unbounding separating the basic components of life policy. These components include the insurance element, the savings element, and the expense element. At with any other life policy, the policy owner pays a premium. Each month a Mortality charge is deducted from the policy's cash value accumulation for the cost of the insurance protection. This mortality charge may also include a company expense or loading charge. The universal life policy pays a death claim in the amount of the death benefits plus the savings element. Life term insurance premiums, the universal life mortality charge steadily increases with age. Each, even though the policy owner may feel a level premium, an increased share of the premium goes to pay the mortality charge at the insured age. The policy specifies the percent of each premium that goes towards the insurer's protection and the and that which is used to build cash value. As premiums are paid and cash values are accumulated, in Interest is credited to the policy's cash value. The interest may be either the current interest rate declared by the company and dependent on current market conditions or the guaranteed minimum rate specified in the contract. As long as the cash value account is sufficient to pay the monthly mortality and expense costs, the policy will continue in force whether or not the policy owner pays the premium. Of course, premium payments must be large enough and frequent enough to generate sufficient cash values. If the cash value account is not large enough to support the monthly dedication the policies terminate the terminates a specific percentage of all premiums must be used to purchase death benefits or universal life policies will not receive favorable tax treatment on its cash value. As stated intervals and usually upon providing evidence of insurability, the policy owner can increase or decrease the face amount of the policy. Corresponding increasing or decreasing in premium payments is not 
required as long as the cash value can cover the mortality expense costs. By the same token, the policy owner can elect to pay more into the policy, thus adding to the cash value account. Another factor that distinguishes universal life from whole life is the fact that partial withdrawals can be made from the policy's cash value. Whole life insurance allows a policy owner to tap cash value only through a policy loan or surrender the universal policy for its entire cash value at any time. However, the companies probably will assess a surrender charge unless the policy has been forced for a certain number of years. The company must disclose the policy surrender charge. Universal Life Death Benefit Options Universal Life Insurance offers two death benefit options under options one, sometimes called option A. The policy owner may be designated a specific amount of insurance. The death benefit equal the cash value plus the remaining pure insur insurance decreases term increasing cash value. The level death benefit is composed of increasing cash value and remaining pure insurance decreasing term. If growing cash value to total death benefits raise ex ex exceed a certain percentage fixed by federal law, an additional amounts of pure insurance called the corridor is in added, added to maintain minimum death benefit requirements under Options 2, sometimes called Option B, the death benefit equals the face value amount pure insurance plus the cash value level term plus increasing cash value to complete with the tax code <laughs> definition of life insurance, the cash value cannot be displaced proportionally larger than the term insurance portion. Equal index universal life insurance is permanent life insurance that allows policy holders to link accumulated values to an outside equal index, like the S&P 500 indexing universal life insurance policies typically contain a minimum guaranteed fixed interest rate components along with index um, amount options. If the return on the index exceeds the policy guaranteed rate of return, the cash value will reflect th that of the index. Indexing the policies given policyholders the security or fixed universal life insurance with round potential of variable policy links to indi index returns. Variable insurance products with a variable life policy premium paid payments are fixed. Part of a premium is placed into separate accounts which is Invest it into a stock bond money fund. The death benefit is guaranteed 
but the cash value of the benefit can be very considerable according to the ups and downs of the stock market. Your death benefits can also be increased if the earnings of the separate funds increase. Variable insurance products do not guarantee contract cash value and it is the policy owner who assumes the investment risk. Variable life insurance contracts do not make any promise as to either interest rates or minimum cash values. Whether what these products do offer is potential to realize investment gains that exceed the available with the traditional life insurance policies. This is done by allowing policy owners to direct the investment of funds back their back to their variable contracts through separate account options. By placing the policy values in separate accounts, policy owners can participate in directing account investment performance which will earn a variable and option to a fixed return. Function on, functioning on the same principle as mutual funds, the return enjoyed or less suffered by policy owners through the investment in a separate account is directly related to the performance of the asset underlying the separate account. Separate accounts are not insured by the insurer and the returns on the investments are not guaranteed for the insurer. For this present, a means of transferring the investment risk from itself to the policy owner, the insurer can offer policy owners the possi possible, though not guaranteed, of competitive high returns without facing the investment risk posed to its guaranteed fixed policies. Because of the transfer of investment risk from the investor to the policy owner, Variable insurance products are considered security contracts as well as insurance contracts. Therefore, they fall under the regulatory arm of both state offices of insurance regulation and security and exchange commission SEC to variable insurance products. An individual must hold life insurance Life Insurance and Financial Industrial Regulation Authority, FINRA, Registration Representative Life License, FINRA, was formed as known as National Association of Security Dealers, or NASD. Some states may also require special variable insurance license or special Adiums to regular life insurance license. Agents who have fully satisfied the requirements for life insurance license, including successful completion of license licensing exams that cover variable annuities, may sell or solicit very variable annuity contracts. Keep in mind that. While these policies involve investment management and other and offer potential for investment gains, they are preliminary life insurance policies, not investment contracts. The preliminary purpose of these plans, like any life insurance plan, is to provide financial protection in the event of the insured death. Accident, death, dismembership.
A, D, and D. The policy can provide financial benefit if an insured is killed, lost a limb, suffered blindness, or is paralyzed in a covered accident. Non-medical life insurance. Non-medical life insurance typically does not require medical a medical examination and tends to be more expensive than medically unwritten policy. The insurer will average out everyone's risk and change according to although insur, insur, insurers typically will not require a medical exam, they will still inquire about the applicant's medical history and lifestyle.